Good afternoon. I'm Mark Sassani, the artist at St. Joseph's Fine Art Studio. I'm here with Nikki Frank, who is videoing uh, our kids' paint uh, painting today. And today we're doing wildflowers. And I am going to give you step-by-step -step instruction here. It's going to be fairly quick. And if you're trying to do this painting, you could pause it and then turn it on again and just keep working at it. Okay, for the start, we're going to paint the entire background. It's a very thin coat. I use some water, a lot of white paint, and not a whole lot of color. I have... <coughs> A light blue and yellow and a light green and they're both mixed they're all both mixed with white and we blend and make that entire background after that then we will do the stems and leaves and some of the weeds and grass on the ground and then finally we'll do the flowers one at a time all the way across okay uh, here is my palette of colors that I have today we have white, uh, lemon yellow, we have a, a light magenta, a light blue, and a yellow green. You do not have to match my colors exactly. You could, you could use any colors, okay? And as a matter of fact, I'm going to give you just a little lesson here on the color wheel. Of course, you know the primary colors, red, yellow, blue. You mix them to make the secondary colors. Red and yellow give us orange, yellow and blue give us green, red and blue give us violet. This side of the color wheel is cool, and this side of the color wheel is warm. And just a little pointer, opposite colors complement one another. But they're also very good for making different types of browns and grays if you add white to them. Blue and orange will give you a nice brown, red and green will give you a brown, violet and yellow will give you a brown. So these are some good tricks that you could use with opposite colors. Uh, generally speaking, <clears throat> this painting we're doing today is a warm painting. It's mostly warm. Even though it's got green, it's a yellow green. So it's, it's over on this side, okay? And the blue is really, uh, has a lot of light, white in it, and so it's very light. And then, of course, we have uh, three... Uh, warm shades there with the magenta, the red in the center of the flower here, and then the yellow, and then we just have a blue flower. Okay, but overall it's a warm feeling. And again, you do not have to use the exact same colors that I do. With all of that said, we're going to get started. Okay, I'm going to take a big brush so that it doesn't uh, take us too long. And I'm going to wet my brush. I always like to have a paper towel in my hand. And the sponge and I'm going to take the white, some water, and make a nice light blue and it's thin. It's not a heavy mixture. It's thinned out and I think with a touch of water, and I do mean a touch, not a lot, we're going to start. Okay. And these colors might be different than my original painting. But this is what I decided on. And I'm using a vertical brush stroke because I want to give it a vertical feel to the composition. So everything in the background is going to be vertical. You could take and add a little bit of blue to that mixture. A little stronger shade of blue here and there. Not too much, just a little bit. Clean my brush off, and then I'll go back and mix that up a little bit. Blend it somewhat. Get back to the vertical look. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush and add white directly to the bottom of this hill. There's some blue in my white here, so. All right, so I'm gonna just take that and just add it in a little water to make it spread. 
If you get hands in your paint, you can take them out after it dries. It will not hurt. Okay, so I got a patch of white there. Squeeze the water out, blend it in with the blue a little bit, not too much. Just using the edge. When I do this here, I'm just barely hitting the edge of the white in the bowl. Clean my brush again, need a new paper towel. Okay, we're going to add some white and then we're going to go to yellow. A little more white into the bottom here. And then I will mix my yellow and yellow green with that. I think for this case, I'm going to take just a little bit of yellow and white. It's a little brighter than what I wanted, it, but I'm going to that's a little brighter than what I wanted. I'm going to clean my brush off. Since that's all wet, I can come back and blend this yellow in there. I sort of like it though, with the brighter yellow. Okay, now we're going to switch to a little green into that mixture. It's still pretty bright. So I'm going to add more white to it and a little bit of the color south of the edge here. Stabilize it. And across the bottom, a little touch of water, not much. Now, if you were painting this at a, at a kid's paint event, you could go around and paint the side, but I don't want to take up your time with that. I'm going to get a blend now. Again, I have a clean brush, sort of clean. It st still has a little bit of yellow in there, but not a little bit of yellow green in there, but not much. Okay, so there, our entire background's finished, and it's looking real good. A little brighter than the original one, but I like that. And notice that the center is lighter because the flowers are going to go in that area. So I guess I'm basically finished with the big brush and I'm just going to drop that in the water. And next we're going to put in some stems and leaves. Okay. Um, for that, I think the stems, I'm going to turn it sideways because I feel more comfortable making brush strokes right to left or left to right than I do uh, <coughs> when they're just vertical. I have an angled brush here. It's nice and thin. It's a good brush. And I'm going to make brush strokes where I could just move my whole arm one way or the other. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to take it this way because then I can lift my brush and bring it to a little bit of a point. Okay, I'm going to wet my brush, take some of the green and mix it with this mixture here with some white. Okay. And let's just see what that looks like. I'm not sure if it's too dark or not, because I do want to keep it fairly light. All right. Take some of the excess paint off of there. All right. And I don't really have a set plan of exactly how many of these plants I'm going to put in here, and neither do you have to have one. I'm just going to take a brush stroke and pick it up. I think I could add a little more green to it. It's a little... Uh, it's a little weak. I'm actually going to put a touch of the pink in there to darken it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go back over that one again. Add a couple at the top, a couple of branches, extend it upward, another one over that way. And then one, one more for there. A little different than the original one. Now I'm going to definitely make this one darker for this next plant. I'm going to take a little bit of the pink magenta, and that should darken that up for me. 
Maybe even a little blue. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, now we're going to get a couple uh, large, long ones in here for these daisy-like flowers. And I think I'll do the same for these three over here. If you want to have more or less, that's up to you. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to do suggest some of the grass at the bottom before I start the leaves on the plant or any of the extensions to the stem up by the flower. So I'm not exactly sure, but I'm just going to put some brush strokes in here. Across the bottom, the darker ones. Now I'm going to warm them up, add a little yellow to that, and a water to it. And I definitely want it to be thinner. Get some white in there, because we're going to push these back. Clean the brush off, and let's add a few more here. These are definitely lighter. So then all I have to do for the back ones is add a little yellow. Maybe not, maybe just a little bit of white for that. Write it down, so it's thin. Okay, let's just suggest a couple, something growing back there that you can't really see. It's not very light or dark, not very noticeable. It's just a suggestion that something's back there, and that's looking good. Okay, let's work on the leaves and some of the stems up at the top. So right across from one plant to the next, try to keep your brush strokes as simple as possible. You could use a pointy brush for this if you want it. They're finished. The other ones don't have them. I'm going to switch over to a pointy brush and do some of the stems near the base of the flower. What you try to do is pull the brush to a point, okay? And if you look at it from an angle, it's pretty sharp. There's not a lot of paint on it. And so I could put a couple stems here for the flower to sit on. Make it a little bit stronger there. I'm going to use a little darker green up there near the top. This one here we're going to have a larger base to the flower. 
flour. And then these over here on the right, we're going to add some white to that and make some thin stems. And you don't have to finish them. You can just suggest that there are stems here holding this wildflower. going fairly well and I didn't want it to take too long and that seemed to be working out. I'm going to extend this up here a little bit because they will get in the way of each other. It's a little higher than the original painting. Okay, so I'm going to darken the stem up here a little bit at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush up. I'm going to get a bristle brush to do the flowers on the top. I'm not going to mix anything uh, for this first flower. I'm just going to use this bright magenta as is. Now this is, I've got thick paint and a bristle brush. Thick paint and a round bristle brush. And I'm just going to sort of dab on and see what kind of effect these things will give me here. Okay, I'm going to put a small little... I want it to be sort of textury there. You don't want to make a big blob. Let each brush stroke separate. Because you don't want to have just one big solid flower because it's not that type of flower. It's not like a tulip where you paint each petal separately. There's a nice texture to this. And you'll notice that I'm not doing these the same as the original one. I'm going to actually put another little flower right in here. And one more right here. I might come back to this. I'm going to do a couple of the other ones right now. Get the petals for this uh, daisy-like type of flower here. Get all the paint out of it because I don't want green in there. I'm going to take some pure yellow, fairly thick paint and some water in there and I want to be able to make a nice clean brush stroke. Okay, I do have a lot of paint on here. If you ever took any of my kids paint or paint and party classes you know that I like to put my little finger down here as a support and I'm gonna now I'm gonna make some brush strokes. I, I think I'm gonna add a little pink to that color because it's just not uh, standing out against the background the way I wanted it to. So the pink will darken that up a little bit. Let's do that again. I can leave that one as is. Yeah, that's better. Okay, you do want it to stand out.
longer too. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're gonna get another one in here. And again, I have the pink mixed in with this yellow. And we're gonna get another one right down here. center of flower so I'm going to mix a little more pink with that yellow and it should be pretty close to an orange or a red so either way close enough and that's why I said when you when you start your painting you do not necessarily have to uh, use the exact same colors but this is a limited palette I have yellow, magenta, light blue, and, and light yellow green, and that's it. Now we're going to switch back over to the bristle brush, and I'm going to do these blue flowers, just like we did the pink ones. And then I may come back over here and add a little bit more for the pink. I just want to see how this balances after I do that. And again, I'm using thick paint now. There's no water in this mixture. I cleaned my brush with water, but now I'm going to... Just start with separate little brush strokes for these blue flowers. And this is fairly thick paint. Okay, that looks good. Closing in on a finish here. And now we're going to add just a couple more shots of pink flowers. And that's going to be it. Uh, I might need a little stem here. Because I'm going to extend a little flower over here. So I got some green on my brush here. And I'm just going to extend another little stem right there. And we're going to go over to the pink. And do the original dab that we did before and let's add a little one here a little bit more pink in there and we're just going to pop one in here without even adding the stem. Make that one a little bit fuller. And that's it. And you can sign your name on it. And we'll see you next time at Kids Paint or at Paint and Party. And either adults or kids could do this painting. And thank you for visiting with us and stop by again at Painting Party.